Hey loves, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing out a brand new makeup sponge that I'm seeing everywhere, in particular on my TikTok. I follow quite a few of the big kind of makeup beauty TikTok content creators. That was a sentence. Um, and I've seen a few reviews of the sponge and the reviews have been really, really impressive. So of course, I had to get it. I love a good tool, gadget, gizmo, sponge. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that with my fingers, but this clearly shows my enthusiasm for makeup sponges. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd test this sponge and um, I'll go through some products that aren't brand new that I've really, really been loving recently that I don't think I've spoken about most of these and maybe test a few products that I haven't tried at all yet. Great. <laughs> If you haven't already, I promise sometimes I'm a little bit more slick than this, but if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, I am Emma. Hi, welcome. I'm 43. I'm a mum of two. I'm, I'm a PT, but I'm also a beauty and skincare product addict. And here on my channel, we do a lot of testing and trying and um, skincare and all kinds of stuff. So hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, thumbs up, all the things. Anyway, let's crack on. What sponge is it? I hear you ask. Well, it's it comes in a really nice box now it's by it's by coco cosmetics by chloe brutally honest i i am not sure who chloe is actually um but she looks very beautiful so it came in this box i got this direct from the coco cosmetics by chloe website but the sponge itself um and there there are a few shapes it's available on beauty bay as well in the uk so Looking at this little menu, this is literally called the menu, it came in the box. Uh, it seems like the brand does lashes, lip things, liners, and then they are, these are the sponges that I am seeing kind of blow up and everybody seems to be loving them. Um, and it's called the Marshmallow. I don't know why I said it like that, the Marshmallow. Love the colour of all the packaging, kind of matches my nails, that wasn't on purpose. But this is the Marshmallow sponge um, and you can get a normal kind of classic, well, I say normal classic, a teardrop shaped sponge with a flat side and then this guy, which I thought was a little bit different um, and this says it's best used for foundation and all over powders. It's a beautiful pink blush colour to give you some context, my favourite makeup sponges of all time is the Classic Beauty Blender. I've been using this for 800 years and I really, I just love it. I just think it just performs so beautifully. And I have been using, and I spoke about these quite a, quite a while ago. This is the Spicy Choco sponges. Um, this one's damp. I've got quite a few of them. What I find is that this gives me really nice little medium full coverage. The Spicy Choco sponges are much softer and I feel like it gives me a more sheerer, lighter coverage. So I like both of those. So this is the marshmallow sponge. First of all, it feels very, very soft and it's got a nice big flat bottom and a kind of domed marshmallowy top. And this is the shape two. So shape one is the kind of tear drop shape. This shape two is best used for foundation and all over face powders. And it says the secret to flawless makeup, incredibly soft, seamless blending. And all of the sponges are latex free, which I like. You can get mini ones. The sponge, one sponge itself, is £8.95, so considerably cheaper than the Beauty Blender. And you can get a pack of four for £24.95. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this box down. I love the box and all the branding like that. Packaging is important, isn't it? I am gonna go and dampen this down. Um, on my face, I actually went a bit heavy handed with my SPF today. Just got my classic ultrasound. This is the anti-pigmentation. I, I, I don't know what I did, but I got a bit carried away. So it's starting to pill a little bit just because I put too much. Anyway, I'm gonna dampen this bad boy down. So here's what it looks like now. I'll be right back um, and we'll, we'll, We'll use it. I came back. I dampened it down under a running tap, squeezed it against the towel, and it's quite a lot bigger. Holy moly! And it feels so soft, so so soft. The beauty blending comparison is a little bit firmer. This feels. I mean, the fact that it's called a marshmallow sponge. I feel like that name is actually perfect. Wow. Okay. I am going to um, put some primer on first. I've really been loving still the Gucci 
oh it's all very matchy and aesthetically pleasing isn't it the gucci serum -y one i don't know what it's called i don't actually if i'm brutally honest i don't actually know if it does a great deal but one it feels really nice going on and two it kind of makes me feel a certain way like oh it's gucci a bit bougie so i'm gonna bung some of that on it is really hydrating actually and when i use it my makeup does um look really nice and it lasts and like a few hours in i look at my skin and i'm like oh that looks nice so i'm sure it does do something i am also very sure that i am in somewhat part paying for the name and i'm okay with that so i'm going to just bung some of that all over look like so foundation wise now i have really really been loving and i haven't spoken about it yet um this it's by L'Oreal and I say L'Oreal like oh um it is the True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum it's got 1% pure hyaluronic acid this is a beautiful buildable I'd say light to medium serum type skincare foundation um I really do like where is it another L'Oreal L'Oreal actually do some good Oh, well, this is a bit old, this one now. Some good um, foundations, drugstore foundations. I actually really like the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is full coverage, lasts a really long time. I like that a lot. This one, um, the, the main problem for me is that the, the shades are quite limited. I, I know I got this in my boots. There are like five shades for me physically to pick from in store. The lightest one looked far too light and this was the next one up. So this is shade two to three three light and um look it's a little bit too dark because i have no fake tan on so i want to show you the foundation because i have been using this non-stop since i got it but let's bear in mind that the color isn't going to be great and we're going to have to do some work around the neck and the chest but don't forget that i hope that no one misses this part of the video skips forward and goes what the hell is that foundation but i just wanted to show this to you because for a drugstore foundation i think it's really nice i don't like that there's a dropper so which side of the sponge should we use should should we i feel like the flat side might be quite nice to cover quite a lot of area and then powders oh it's just gonna this would be so nice to kind of pow, maybe powder this side anyway let's get on with it i'm gonna take some of this i'm gonna pop it on the back of my hands see the thing is the pipette doesn't really work i kind of just do that here right let's go should we do half and half with the beauty blender yes yes we should yeah we should right let's take some of this here and it feels my first reaction is it feels so nice it's obviously got a massive surface area i mean look at the size difference this is huge remember the color it's not quite right we're gonna have to do some gosh it is quite dark i had a really good exfoliation last night in the bath as well so there is no remains of fake tan anywhere i need a mirror it feels lovely it's giving me good coverage but kind of sheer i'm not getting like full white coverage but that feels really nice i'm just going to take a little bit more see how it builds up it's giving a really really nice blended finish and i love how it feels so initial thoughts is that this is a really nice sponge oh the color wow sorry guys maybe i need to get the next one down and we can blend it mix them together okay that's nice let's see the difference with the good old beauty blender so i've put the kind of the same amount of product on my hand here let's see the beauty blender is definitely much more firm i actually really like how this feels um i've got some breakouts on my forehead there this is definitely a light lightweight foundation so if you're looking for something that's like a hint of coverage that just adds moisture and a really nice glow then this is just so nice if we could get the color right because i'm now looking at myself that's my dog I'm now looking at myself and absolutely questioning 
this foundation choice. I actually really love how this feels. I love the surface that it covers. I'm gonna kind of blend out those sides. Yeah, this is a good, big, it's, I mean, it's huge. Yeah, that's, that is quite nice. It's quite good. <laughs> if you have got the wrong foundation shade on and you need to blend it all over your entire body. For concealer, I'm just gonna use my trusted old hourglass. So I'm gonna pop some of this on super quick. And, um, then blend that out. I think that the shape one would be definitely be better for concealer. This is not a concealer sponge at all. So I'm gonna use Trusted Old Beauty Blender for the concealer. Okay, to set, up, the reason I keep looking over here is that I've got my makeup back here. I just do my makeup in the car the other day and it's still in here. To set my under eye, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Brightening Under Eye Setting Powder. I'll put all of the products in the description box. This is a, a powder that's like fine, 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 fine as fairy dust and it's made purely to set concealer under the eye so it doesn't kind of settle into creases, like not thick or heavy at all. And I absolutely love it. So I put some of that on for Kind of bronzing and contouring at the same time i'm going to use the kvd one i can never remember what this is called but it's like a gel cream um contour it's quite bronzy so i'm going to pop some of this on with my contour i've actually been doing it much higher so before i used to really put it in the hollows of my cheeks there is a dirty great big fly did you see that whizzing around in here Ugh. i used to put it quite sort of in the hollow of my cheek now i'm putting it much higher um, and then I either take a brush or a sponge and then I blend it out from there and kind of round onto my temples. It just, it still gives you that, obviously that contour, but it being higher, it kind of lifts everything. So I'm just gonna finish up and kind of contour with this. As you can see, it's quite a bronzy contour. It's not like super cool, cool, cool tone, like gray undertone. It's definitely more bronzy. So I've not been using that much bronzer with it, actually. Now, before I set that, because normally I'd go in and set it, I have been obsessed with a new blusher. You'll be pleased to know I've moved away a little bit from the, um, which one is it, the Christian Dior? Is it Christian Dior blush that I was using for like 18 months solid? And I've been loving this little cream blush from Honest Beauty. Now, Tati here on YouTube has been speaking about this or spoke about this maybe like two years ago and raved about how much she loved it. Um, and then I saw it in TK Maxx for like 6 99 and I was like, yep, yeah, I need that in my life. And I am obsessed with this, absolutely obsessed. So if you haven't got one in TK Maxx, um, I would suggest I'm not sure whether they even sell Honest Beauty, maybe Superdrug in the UK. You can see how well used this is. I love it. It's got a very beautiful formula that is a cream, but it just, it lasts all day. And I've been applying it with a kind of stippling brush. This is from Luxie Beauty. And this is the small, I don't know what it is. My eyesight is really bad. The small something or other stippling brush. So I pop this on, then I set everything, then I put a little bit on top and that kind of sandwiching layering effect, just, it lasts all day. So I literally swirl my brush in here and um, very gently, oh, I just, I love this so much. Um, I kind of swirl this onto my cheeks, high point of my cheeks and I kind of bring it around here. And it's got like a beautiful sheen to it. I'll see if I can swatch some. It's quite almost thick and sticky which doesn't sound great, but it's, it's just so, so beautiful. Let me wipe that off before I get it everywhere. And then I'll finish the other side. Oh, I've applied a lot. I appreciate that. 
but I can't help myself. I just love it. I just, oh, it just adds such a beautiful glow. It, like I said, it lasts a long time. What color? This is rose pink, and I am definitely going to pick up some other colors. I, I really, really love this blush very, very much, very much. Powder wise, uh, I don't know if I love this or not. I think it's just, I got a bit carried away, got a big one. This is the Loose Setting Powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills in Banana, a little bit yellow. I don't know why I bought this, off on a whim. Um, yeah, it's just a nice, I mean, the formulation's nice, I'm just not convinced about the shade, doesn't matter. But let's try it with this, because this definitely says all over face powders. Um, it is really still quite damp. Let's just go. Yeah, I'm gonna love the how big this is. I mean, if you had a smaller powder thing, would that fit in there? I don't know, but it's fitting in mine, so that's all that matters right now. I'm gonna just powder. Oh, that feels so good. Love the size of this. I mean, it is quite annoying that you can't do your concealer but I am I don't need more powder I'm really enjoying how how it feels and this is nice so what I'm doing is I'm setting kind of the center of my face first and then I'll go over the blush because I don't want to kind of set that and move any of the blush to the rest of my face if that makes sense um and I've been putting foundation around my neck so let's just make sure that's all set Oh, I, I like this a lot. Okay, and then I'll take a little bit of that and gently pop that on top of the blush. So that kind of cream on top of the cream or liquid foundation, setting it with a powder, oh, just locks it in place. I whoa, I dropped it and it literally bounced like a ball. Really enjoying this. I think it's good value as well, 8 dollars five. Now that that's powdered, just to add that little bit of shine because the blush has got that kind of little bit of, of like glowed. Here, here are the fingers again. It's got that little bit of glow to it. I'm barely using any pressure. And I am just adding a tiny little bit more. I've not gone back into the pan, just what was left on the brush. And then a tiny little bit on the nose. Ooh, very summery, very glowy. That's pretty, right? With this blush, you don't really need a highlight. Good, okay. So I've done base, bronzery contour, blush, eyes. I have been keeping it again, once again, quite simple and neutral. And I've been enjoying this little palette from Kylie Cosmetics. Um, this is the bronze palette. This was 24 pounds. I was pleasantly surprised at the price point. Like, okay, it's 24 pounds, it's still, relatively considered purchase but we're not like in you know Natasha Denona prices anyway I got this in Harrods Beauty but you can get it in Boots I think well I know you can in Boots quite a few places now sell Kylie and I really like the colours this kind of size palette comes in two shades it's like a mauvey one I think purpley one but if you've watched any of my things you know <laughs> that this is very me have I got 800 other palettes back here exactly the same as this Yes, yes I have. Did I still buy it, even though I have all of these eyeshadows in some shape or form? Yes, yes I did. I, hear, hear me out, I thought actually that this would be a good little palette for holiday. I like the kind of simple white packaging. It is a bit grubby, but nothing a baby wipe or face wipe can't help. It's got a nice, decent sized glass mirror and it had a cream. A lot of palettes are missing the matte cream. Nice dark shade, nice matte cream, some nice kind of lid shades, metallics, and they are, oh, they are really, really nice eyeshadows. They're very, very pigmented, I need a wipe. They are very pigmented, so you definitely need a light hand. But I'm gonna just spend 20 minutes trying to open these wipes. Once again, I'll say I buy promo wipes for wiping makeup off my hand, they will never touch my face. Cleaning and swatching. Okay, bomb that in the bin. Okay, very simple eye look. Very, very simple.
Okay, very, very simple eyeshadow. Um, but I have used this for like a more kind of dramatic look and the color payoff of these shades. I'll swatch on the dark ones as well, shall we? So, so impressive. I'm, I am, um, the more I use a curly, I know it's controversial. People, that's an old word. People either, you know, love her or hate her or people kind of have an issue with investing in a Kardashian slash Jenna product. I am okay. I don't really care as long as the product performs. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, let's do mascara. I've got a mascara I have never used before. It's an oldie. Apparently an oldie, but a goodie, but let's give it a go. Now, randomly, I got this in Boots at the moment. If you spend over £20 on like a self-selection kind of drugstore or cosmetics, you get a bundle, a box full of a whole bunch of stuff. And there was number seven wipes, which again, I'll be using for swatches. There was a, where have I put it? There was a um, Garnier face mask. There was some nail varnishes. I think it was this one. Two, random super stay. And this one here, love this one for the summer. Um, there was like a little travel thingy, thingy, thingy. And there were two products that I've not used before and we're going to use the first time. I have opened this because my daughter wanted to swatch it. Lip colour. And then this. This is the Maybelline The Colossal Go Extreme Mascara. It says Extreme Volume Effect. That's what it says. So let's try this. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes with my old, very old MAC eyelash curler. Oh, it's got a really nice big bristly brush. Look at the wand there. It's got a very wiggly wand. I don't know why, I don't know the purpose of that, apart from just how it looks. But I do like the look of that massive bristly brush. I have high hopes. Let's try it. Wow, the brush is huge. Okay, it's taken quite a little bit of work. Um, it's not clumpy at all, actually. It's not, I mean, my initial reaction, it's not the best mascara I've ever used, but it's it's also not the worst. I would definitely use it again. I almost think like, the, I love this kind of brush, but I almost feel like it's a little bit too big. But um, yeah, it looks pretty. It's a nice, good, it's a nice, good, solid mascara. Let's do the other side. Yeah, it's nice. I definitely, I would definitely use it again. It's a good kind of day-to-day. -day. Um, mascara it's separated it's not clumpy at all it's not like the most voluminous lengthening mascara I've ever used but it's really really nice okay lips this also came in the boots bundle and this is the cream creme what is it creme thing this is the shade cream chauffeur 110 oh it smells good it smells like sweets <gasps> oh Oh my God, I love the color so much. Oh, I know, again, I've got a five, five million lipsticks. This color. That is lovely. I cannot believe this was in that free bundle. Very creamy formula, really comfortable. Very, very creamy, which I guess is why it's called a cream or a creme. The color is actual perfection for me. Totally my cup of tea. That is really nice. Oh my God, do you know what we've forgotten? Eyebrows. I'm really still struggling with the eyebrows. I need more brow recommendations, please. I've got so many eyebrow products that are like this many. Just, uh, just, yeah, that's how I feel. Ugh. I am now trying to not waste makeup and just kind of get through and use some up. I'm gonna use this. Charlotte Tilbury one, I, I'm not a big fan, if I'm honest, but we're gonna use it up to not waste makeup. This is, I don't know what it is, some Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow pencil thing. Don't like the shape, don't really like the formula. Oh, it's not twisting up, so I think I've almost finished. I'm not gonna use that because I'll probably get like one brow's worth. Okay, we'll leave that for the empties vid. Let's go straight back to the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ash Brown. I'm gonna go through my eyebrows really quickly for that first. That's better, isn't it? <gasps> Nearly forgot the brows. 
now i'm looking and thinking the color's a little bit too dark but it's on my face so can't do much about that now and then to set them into place the anastasia oh it's rubbed off clear brow gel this is okay it's not my favorite it's like a clear brow mascara massive big brush um bung some of that on and there we have it actually now well i'm just gonna say the foundation shade doesn't look too bad doesn't look great but it doesn't look too bad there we have it there's the, the finished final look with products i have been really loving and using a lot and some brand new stuff so let's talk about the coco cosmetics by chloe marshmallow sponge i actually really really like it i think it's a great price point 8.95 i love how big it is it's covering a lot of surface area in a very short amount of time compared to other sponges i mean this one is still kind of expands quite big but this is huge um downside for me personally is i do like a kind of one sponge does it all kind of affair so you know you can do your foundation your concealer and you could go and, and with a cream contour and blush with one sponge with this i do feel like you're limited with the foundation and powder i did obviously use it to blend a little bit of the contour where i needed you can always squeeze these sponges down you know you're not set with that massive surface area um, but it is definitely more of like a fast, full, you know, full, not full coverage, but full area kind of sponge. And I really love this large, nice, big flat surface area for powder. And again, um, it really kind of covers a lot of space in one go. And it feels an absolute delight. Like it just feels one of the most relaxing, most comfortable sponges um, I've used in a long, long time actually. It definitely feels just like a marshmallow. I really like it. Will I continue to use it? Absolutely, definitely. I mean, I have been kind of swapping between these two, so I like this a lot. Um, it's given a really nice finish. The powder's gone on really nicely and it blended the product beautifully. It has soaked up quite a lot. However, this is a very thin, liquidy kind of you know it's a hyaluronic acid serum foundation so i think if you were to use this something a little bit thicker you would definitely get that full whack full coverage yeah love that a lot really 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 enjoyed that how many more times can i say really so there you go there are some of the products i've been loving and using at the moment the honest cream blush chef's kiss 10 out of 10 one of the nicest blushes i've used in a really long time great drugstore foundation if you like lightweight and hydration and glow definitely check that out mascara is nice actually really love this lip color totally my cup of tea thank you so so much for watching like i said right at the start if you haven't hit that subscribe button already hit the subscribe button i'd love to have you here and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos i've got a lot planned actually i have been a bit slack over the last few months because life just gets busy sometimes but we are going to come back full force. Lots of content coming up, so make sure you subscribe. Thank you so, so much for your time. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you really soon. Take care.